Hello Raptor lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sven, this is Woody and today we are talking about the foam stone. Even? Oh no, 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 all the work and all the time and just kidding, it's indestructible. See you. So, as you see, nothing happened with this rock because it's indestructible. It's hopefully the way the universal rockway. I was thinking about what can I use to cover it. You can use this, this normal uh, normal type. I wrote it down. What, what do you need? Cement and glued and epoxy and painted. I did this many years before, but this time I want to do it a little bit different. And I saw videos of universal rocks and I was thinking about how do they do this. And I came up with an idea because I uh, built off-road cars and campers for many many years and I use this stuff on and in this campers So I was thinking about if this one is the right one. It is a bed liner. It's a 2k product So but before I use this or, uh, or I want to use this I contact the camper company and I was asking if it's possible to use it uh, with animals and these guys sent me a lot of letters and, and and documentations about testing this stuff. They they had to to test this in real cold condition, and they had this to test it in real hot condition. So there is no unhealthy or poison gas uh, coming out of this stuff after if it's applied. So the company said, okay, there is no problem. They use it on cars, in cars. They use it on floors. They use it for stairs, for furniture build. And they use it uh, in animal care. Uh, so it's no problem to use it, but you have to use it right. Because during the, 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 during using this stuff and applicate this stuff, it is absolutely unhealthy, poison. It is really aggressive. So and you have to do a, a few uh, security uh, things before you start this. And I want to I want to talk about a short how I did this thing, but you will see it afterwards in this in this video. Um, you have to to uh, put a layer a, uh, a layer on this uh, uh, foam stuff between this coat and this uh, and the foam so I use in this video I use this this uh, wooden glue you can use it but um, I will do a layer of epoxy this is my first layer and after the epoxy stuff I will uh, I will uh, spray it in the video you see it I brush it but you can brush it you can roll it but I will spray it after I applied the epoxy I will spray the first layer in this normal spray gun it is a sit light coat so that is everything is covered and after this I will use this special Raptor U-Pole gun so you can you can decide what structure you want to you want to spray it. You can do no structure up to really sick structure. It depends what you like. So um, I think uh, we talk about really uh, important thing. You can't do this inside inside your room because this stuff smells. It stinks. It's unhealthy during the applying. You have to do this outside or in your garage good ventilated garage the company said you the best temperature is up to 20 degrees it's i think 75 de uh, degrees fahrenheit um that is uh, the best temperature so but if you do it outside you have to wear those protection masks for breathing that is really important please use some goggles Use some uh, this uh, stuff for your hands. Uh, wear long sleeves. Put a hat on because 
if you get this stuff on your on your skin man this is pretty hard to get this off okay this is really really important uh, don't do it without it you can you can google this you, you will see a lot of videos how people use it for their cars but i want to do it on my uh, terrarium um, after you put the the third layer on it, it it's a job it's really fast and really easy after one hour you are ready with all your foam work one liter is good for uh, four square meters so this is just one hour the last coat you can put everything you want in it like this is playground sand you can do raptor sand you can you can put everything in it to make it harder uh, this one the stuff was the black one so you see the black stuff in it but you can buy it uh, in uh, neutral and you can color it you can put color in it you can color it in every color you want so maybe you start with a sanding sand color like little yellow stuff like this and then put sand you can do whatever you want just think about protection do it outside a good ventilation and if you apply it you have one hour after an hour it is dry it is hard and at the right temperature it will it will take seven to ten days to totally dry so that there's no no chemical stuff or no poison unhealthy stuff is coming out of the thing but if you if you let it dry extremely good and in my case man i have i have a lot of time i i built this thing maybe one year i have i have time i i want to wait until it's getting warmer outside then i start to cover my plates okay if you have any questions comment in my videos share and subscribe would be would be very nice um i think Let's have fun with the video and we see us on the next time. Okay, when you're ready to, f uh, to curve your, your foam like a rock, uh, I will take some uh, this wood glue. I don't know what is in English. In German it's uh, Holzleim. Um, this time I will use a brush, but for my uh, big plates I will use a spray gun so it's easier to and easier and way faster but for this product or for this example I just use this paintbrush okay why do I have to put this coat on here because uh, this stuff I told you about uh, is aggressive against foam and if you put it without a layer of this here onto this piece it will I can show you wait 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 it will melt you see like this this was straight and is it will melt straight into this foam this foam isn't this is the, the soft one. This will melt a lot more than the yellow one, but this year it's indestructible. It's, it's, it's pretty hard, but it's, it's melting and I don't want it to melt. So I put a layer of glue on this one, like this. And then I got a seal. And on this seal, I can put this uh, bed liner stuff. I will show you after this step and then you, we will see how it looks when I'm ready. Okay, this is how the rock looks like after drying. We have a nice hard sealed surface. And now we want to apply the first coat of this bed liner.
Okay, this is how the rock looks like uh, using this first layer of this Raptor liner. So it's really, really easy, really fast. And you saw I put 100 milliliter of this stuff and I have a whole a whole bucket of it so you can you can use this stuff like this this is round about one liter of this bed liner uh, the company say you can do about three square meter uh, of paint so it's really cheap and really fast now we have to wait round about if if you do it right you can you could wait for an hour then you can touch the surface it's then it's pretty hard but just for for showing you how it works i will wait about 15 20 minutes then i will apply a second layer and then i will use all kind of gravel and sand and we have a look what looks best okay for you a second for me about 20 minutes see you okay now after it's close to dry i will put the next layer a thick layer on it you can also put three layers on it you can uh, mix this in different colors you can buy this in black or in neutral and you can mix it in every kind of color you want so I just start with the black one because I have it here so and then after I put the layer on I will put color like this on it and something of this and this light one and we will see how it looks after I'm ready Okay, I put a thick layer on top and now just take your stuff, whatever you want to do. I will mix up a few stuff just to check how it looks afterwards. So this side is really light and, and uh, really bright sand. Okay. Just throw it on here. We will see how it looks afterwards. So, this is like play, playground sand. I will put a layer on here. Okay. So when you see the black stuff you can see through this gravel so you can you can decide what kind of color you want to start with maybe um, like brown or a little bit yellow or whatever whatever you want to do so okay now this red stuff it's sick stuff Let's have a look. Okay. That's not my favorite. It's two two big corns. I have to buy smaller ones. But just to check to test. Okay. So, and that's it. Maybe you can press it in a little bit, but you don't have to. But for this bigger stuff here, I just want to try it. But this is not my favorite. That is, it's too big. Okay, a little bit of this mix mixing a little bit
Okay. So this is how it looks. This is this stuff is too big. So you have to take light or small corns. But you can do everything. You can take peat moss or whatever. So let this stuff dry and we will see how it looks when it's ready. So this was a quick review how I will cover all my plates. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, subscribe, like, share and we see us on the next episode. Bye bye and stay safe.